knows that too much truth is just as bad as too little. See? Which is why she got the job. Booth. You know, Angel says that you and Cam had a sexual relationship. Does that affect your view? Patch me through. Wildly. Out of line. Just so you know that. Bones doesn't intimidate. Then what? Oh, you've seen the way she stares at human remains before she makes a decision? Yes. You're human remains, and she hasn't made a decision yet. Weeks ago, with uh, most of her belongings. You okay, Bones? I was a foster child. Yeah, I know. Did people always assume the worst of me? Yeah, I know. What if I fired her? What would you do? I'm with Bones, Cam. All the way. Don't doubt it for a second. Meet the English Alba Rose. <laughs> Meet Jasper. You're gonna be okay. It don't matter to the moon. Yeah. Definitely. Hi, it's Dr. Brennan. Is Agent Booth available? Uh, available, yeah, I'm Dr. Brennan. I... Yeah, Bones, what's up? Nothing, just seeing you've got the call and if you're coming by to pick me up or... Oh yeah, um, you know, I'm just gonna have to meet you there, okay? Okay, bye. What's wrong? With what? This is usually where I type and you talk. You two are never not talking. Well, we're not not talking. Or maybe we're not not not. Okie doke. What do is contact these kids' families and find out which one is missing a dad. Well, let me print you the list. Print two. We'll split up. you to marry him. He seems an ideal candidate. Strong alpha male, good protective instincts. And I should discuss this with you. Why? It's just I'm not sure he knows and I think it bothers him. Booth thinks you didn't marry him because he wouldn't make a good father. What? He worries about it himself. What he does for a living. His past as a sniper. You sure that's what you want? You know what, Bones? It might be all anthropology to you, but there are certain people that you just can't sleep with. I mean, you can pretend that it's just sex. You can lie to yourself and you can say that it's all good, but uh, there's just there's too many strings and, and too much at stake, you know? Too much to lose. Yeah. I mean, it's against the rules, but we've all done it. All right. I mean, why else work in a high-class place like this, right? Which what is what? Mine? Ours? Ours? Oh, no, no, oh. whoa. We're not. <laughs> Ew. No, no, that's not. <sighs> FBI. Oh, wow. You know, someone who looks like you, what well, wouldn't? Just because of the way you look. I don't understand what way do I look. Well, you know, you... You're structured very well. As are you. I just, I remember that I had an appointment. Oh, so, um, I'll see you tomorrow? All the paperwork from the case, right? No, I was, I was gonna stay, do it anyway, so. No, no, but you know, it's our case, I wanna help. You don't have to, Booth. Bone take out and I ditch these donuts. Sure. Thai food. Like this? Yeah. You like that. Zach measured. That's odd. Hot. Wait a minute. What's hot? No, uh, nothing. Vegas, Vegas. It's hot.
Uh, you never told me the second reason why, uh, why you bet on me. Yeah, it was silly. Well, come on. You know, try Beginner's me. luck. I haven't lost at anything since I've been here, so well, I, I figured if I bet on you, then... I couldn't lose. Sounds silly, right? And I'm thankful for that. Under your ceiling I knew you wouldn't give up. I can hear I knew you wouldn't give up. Well, you know what Will said? He was right. You turned out okay. I mean, obviously, you have one with Cam. <laughs> so. What? I thought you'd mention it. I mean, isn't that what partners do? Tell each other about their lives? <laughs> Second look, bones. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot how self-conscious you are talking about sex. I am not, um, teacher. You're very touchy lately, Boo. Hey, look, Bones, I don't know why I didn't tell you about Cam. Did I mention Cam? I just didn't want it to get weird, I guess. Weird? We're partners, you know, together all the time, right? You're a woman, and I'm a man, and I never had a relationship like this where we were like two guys, except you're not, you know, a guy. I'm afraid my best isn't good enough. I can read bones, not people. Oh. You know, you had no trouble seeing through me. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. Hey, it's a guy hug. strong, confident woman. And uh, figured him out, you made him feel powerless. So he's gonna want to uh, prove that uh, you're weak and inferior. So, you are not to go out on your own, ever. You know, what happened to Cam happened because we had a personal relationship. Huh? Yeah, people who work in high risk situations, they can't be involved. Romantically, because it leads to things like what happened. High risk situations. Holly calling right now. We're, um, we're doing, you know, what we did. Yeah, you know, I'll be back soon. Okay. I'll talk to you later. guy advice you are a guy what's not to get first of all guys they don't ask for advice and secondly I'm not gonna help you get my partner into bed why not it's not like you want her unless do you want her ah, come on huh? bones is you know my partner <laughs> oh that is why you need psychiatric treatment because I slept with Sully last night oh I thought you already uh... no last night yeah it's really not my business Except for partners. Yeah, there's that. And you told me about your socks. Mm -hmm. Sex socks, pretty much the same word. Here. Uh, yeah. Well, I heard we had a copycat killer using your book. As that a... hasn't been established. Yeah, I got it covered here, Sully. Well, two hands are better than one, Booth. <laughs> well, last time I looked, I have two hands, see? Thanks. Testosterone spill on aisle four. So, congratulations. You guys make a great team. Mm-hmm. True. You know, I, I should run bones, you know, I, I got stuff. <clears throat> see, it works all? Yeah, I'll see.
Boy, the boat. Oof. Yeah, I need bombs. Permission to come aboard or what? Uh, what kind of bomb? Here, I need to interrupt my vacation for this, you know. Well, you know, you said the call if a bone showed up and this is a bone. That Zach will do an osteological profile on the bone, see if we can focus geographically while I get back on vacation. Wow, Dr. Brennan really likes that boat. Oh, the boat. Oh, this. Don't tell me, you found another bone. Well, I got this uh, Chinese book that needs translation. Sully wants me to run off with him. Go. For a year. Go. He wants to run a charter boat around the Caribbean. Go. He says I should... Next thing you know, he'll be shipwrecked on some island talking to a volleyball. He's leaving for the Caribbean. I'm sorry, Bones. I, I know that the two of you were kind of hitting it off. And, he wants but... me to go with him. Oh. You think I should go? What are you doing here? I'm waving goodbye. See? What do you want? We obviously have issues, okay, that are affecting our working relationship. And you're afraid to deal with them, so you just lash out at my religion. Can't you just be satisfied that if I'm wrong about God, I'll burn in hell? That's tempting. Good. Now, how about... What? You weren't fighting about religion. But that's what Booth said. Uh, religion provided the flashpoint you needed to expose an underlying issue. I will find out what that issue is, help you resolve it, and set right the balance of dark and light in the universe. Isn't it great? Well, shouldn't Brennan be here with you? Instead of me? Deal with a few work issues. Trouble in paradise? We're just spending some time apart. Did you two sleep together? Do you see where we are? This feels like a couple's thing. And now that Sully is gone, it's not. It's a work thing. Leaving all this arithmetic supposed to stand. So your problem with Dr. Brennan is that you don't know what will or will not catch fire or where you stand. out of your element. Observation isn't just seeing, Dr. Wyatt. It's experiencing. Ideally, I'd prefer being inside Booth's head. You know, seeing and feeling things the way he does. Then maybe I, I'd understand. Be one with him. In a scientific sense. Belonging, etc. But that's not the main problem. He can't possibly know. Yes, I do. You're both afraid that the reason Dr. Brennan didn't sail off into the sunset with her boyfriend, Sully, might have been because of her ties to Agent Booth. Didn't I go with Sully? How is he supposed to know? Sully is perfect. We communicated well. The sex was incredible. He invited me to sail around the South Seas in a beautiful yacht. She was a more pronounced, given that your behavior has been affected by what turns out to be a quite irrational fear of being responsible for somebody else's destiny. That makes sense. Oh, now you like psychology. I think you're weird. Is Angela thinking about marriage at all? People fall in love and they get married. That's what people do. No, you didn't want to talk about it. Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, you believe in love, don't you? <laughs> How long have you two been going out? What? We're, We're, partners. We're partners. That's it. Uh, me and my partner talk baseball. Might not want... Shouldn't have. I mean, all this work just for me? What? No, I mean... It wasn't that much. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you like it? I like to be alone with it. Ring, Tunk is the maid of honor at the reception when people clink glasses. Nice, excellent, okay, who's the maid of honor? No idea, but most of Angela's friends are really hot. Well, I'm the maid of honor. Why? Uh, listen, you, you... Better? Wow, you look great. You said I looked good before. Whose day is it, huh? It's Angela's, come on, let's go.
Hit you again, he'd lose you forever. Just thought you should know. Thanks, Booth. <clears throat> Hi. I'd uh, like to get married now. What do we do now?